everyone, Daniel Tim Tim here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I got some great information for you. Uh, we're going to be talking ukuleles, uh, bongo laylees, hand pans, um, also skateboarding. And I also have uh, some bag reviews for you guys today. So we've got a lot of stuff to cover, so let's get right into it. Um, first thing is my TK70R six month review. Uh, previously, I would shared with you uh, the specs on it, which is really good. Also, that I had changed the strings. The Pepe Romero strings um, have been awesome. Uh, I've had these, actually these are a new set because I, I, be, I play every day so I kind of wear strings out, but this is my second set of Pepe Romero strings. Uh, if you guys are looking for a low G again, these, this low G is really awesome. It sounds really good on this, this ukulele. Uh, one of the new things that I did do is I had my first gig and I needed to electrify or find a pickup for my ukulele. And on my search, uh, what I found was the LR Braggs 5.0 and here it is Bam. installed by Ohana uh, what it is it's an active uh, it's an active uh, pickup uh, it's similar to the MySci which a lot of people know about and it also has a volume control here in the sound hole there's also a battery that you can take out uh, it's powered by a battery that's inside here and uh, I really can't have, I don't have a comparison between uh, other types of pickups because I haven't tried them. Um, but what I saw, you can go on YouTube and you can see some uh, examples of, you know, my side with, against the LR Braggs um, and the sound. And sound is obviously up to the player preference, but the LR Braggs uh, has done very, very well. And I, I, I enjoy using this one. It sounds really good. So LR Braggs 5.0, that's the new thing on this. Uh, another thing, wear has been really good. Um, I have put a little wear on the front. Uh, that's just from playing every day. Uh, this is a satin finish, so it doesn't have the gloss finish. So, yeah, um, if you don't put a protector on here, you're gonna get you're gonna get something like this if you strum all the time. But I like it. It's my pride mark. Strum every day. We'll see if I can put a hole in it. <laughs> but this is the TK70R six months from uh, a six month review and it's done very well. It's held up. It's traveled the world. Uh, this year it went to Paris and Italy and it's played in some pretty exotic places and um, it's uh, it spent two, three, almost three weeks in Europe and through the travel it's done very good. No problems at all. So still sounds good. Actually it's getting better. I think the, the spruce top is working out and the coloring on it you see I don't know if you see the other video but it's actually getting a little bit more orange which is cool uh, I think that's what, uh, that's what it does so TK70R Ohana great instrument if you're looking for a nice tenor this is a great instrument um, next thing I'm going to go over is some, another thing from Ohana and this is the Ohana Bongalele if you go online right now they have uh, I think on the Ohana site they have um, explanation on the whole thing on, or what this is all about but basically it's the body of a ukulele okay without the headstock and all that stuff as you can see and it's similar to a bongo and it has two chambers with a high and a low sound oh, I didn't do it right. and really fun to play once you get it I'm not a big percussionist if you want to see someone jam on this look up Abe Lagrimus Jr. This guy not only is a great uh, ukulele player, but man, he's inspired me to learn how to play this thing. And I've been playing with uh, some of my friends with the ukuleles. Also, I've been playing with uh, guitars, and they all love the sound and how it goes with uh, those instruments. Um, and I, you can use you can use this for pretty much anything. I've seen it played with a lot of different things. Just go online. There's some there's some information on bongalelis, but it's from Ohana, uh, with in conjunction with Daniel Ho. And as you can see, this is Daniel Ho's signature. But here's his real one. He signed it. I don't think it's it. Boom, boom. Cool. My claim to fame. Ha ha. But bongalele by Ohana. Check them out. I believe they come in two sizes. This is the tenor size, and they also have a concert size. So check those out. Fun instrument. Uh, another thing, while I was traveling, I said, uh, as I was traveling, I wanted to, 
I needed a bag um, that, that'll work. Uh, but what I got here is the Ohana ukulele, and this is a double gig bag. Um, and it's pretty amazing. I took this on a three week trip to Europe, went through Paris, Italy, and back, and this thing has done very well. Uh, one of the things I like about it has two, obviously it holds two, this can hold two tenor size ukuleles, which is pretty awesome. And it doesn't look that, see how it's not that thick or big, and it, which is really cool. You can pack this up. Um, how I traveled was I had the, the tenor here in the back, and then I usually put other stuff that I wanted in here. Um, as if you've ever traveled the ukulele, sometimes the airline, it depends on the airline. I've only had one problem with my ukulele where they wouldn't let me, uh, they, they wanted me to pay. Ryanair did not, they were gonna charge me like a hundred bucks to bring my ukulele on board and we, we worked it out, it was pretty cool. But um, what you can do is you have your ukulele in here and then you can carry, you can carry another ukulele. You can also fit uh, what I just showed you, the bongolele in here. Um, what I had in here was I had uh, music that I brought with me. I like to use music or, or um, sheets of music. And then also uh, I had my music stand and then I could also fit, I could fit my jacket in here. Usually I use this, uh, it has another little pocket here with where you can put other things in here, which is good in the airport. I usually just throw my wallet in here or whatever if I needed to you know, get undressed at the security line. But this is a great bag. Um, um, if you guys are looking for a double gig bag, this is awesome and I've taken it on the plane, traveled, and my youth is still in good condition. So check that out, the Ohana uh, double gig bag. Uh, la or another thing I wanted to share with you, not from Ohana, but we're going to move over to Dave's Island Instruments. And this instrument I found, I've, I've, I've seen it around, um, but it, it's just amazing. Let me just show you. Uh, what I have here. What I want to share with you is a hand pan or a hang drum. Uh, this instrument has been around, gosh, I think only since 2007. I was looking on the research on where this hand, uh, uh, instrument came from, but it came out of Switzerland and it was known as the hang drum. Over the years, there's been a lot of different uh, people that have been making these, and one is Dave, uh, Dave's Island Instruments. He's actually one of the, he's a premier steel drum maker, uh, which is kind of similar to this instrument, uh, but he got into making hand pans and now he's one of the premier hand pan makers in the world. Uh, uh, this is his Luna model, um, and what a hand pan is, it's basically an upside down, if you can think of a steel pan with the mallets, uh, it's upside down and it has notes on the outside and it has less notes. Um, uh, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine notes with a ding. I don't know if you can fit through there the note, but it has eight notes. And amazing instrument. I love this thing. A lot of times you hear them in, uh, with yoga, uh, but I've seen a lot of different people play it and they all have different styles and they use it different ways. And um, I've been playing it for the last couple months and it's been a great instrument. And right now, Dave has been innovating Normally these hand pans are cut like um, they're steel, uh, treated with nitrite to prevent corrosion, um, and this is how it usually turns out. It looks like a uh, it's a, a machine metal, kind of bluish. If you can see it in the sun, um, so I've seen bluer ones. You know, it depends on who makes it. Uh, but Dave has been innovating and his new Luna hand pan, which is called the Clarity hand pan, and you guys got to check this one out. Um, it's powder coated instead of nitrided. And you know, a lot of people say different things, but powder coating from what I know is awesome. Uh, it, it's, it's a great uh, thing. But one of the things I thought by powder coating a hand pan, it would probably dead, uh, you would think it would dead in the sound, but what I found it made it a lot better, more resonant. Uh, I wish I could show you right now. I just don't have that example with me. But you will, uh, if you go to Dave's Island Instruments, they do have an example of the the Luna uh, Clarity, and it sounds amazing. Um, probably my next next one that I'm going to get. But the hand pan, this is a great instrument. Um, I've my first passion, obviously, is ukulele. Uh, but you can actually play 
this instrument with the ukulele and it's, it's so amazing. Hopefully I can, uh, in the future I'll share with you examples of, of those two, but this also goes good uh, with other instruments. I've seen people experiment with the cajon. Actually I've been playing with the bongolele here with this uh, instrument and <laughs> it's just the, the possibilities are endless. But one of the things that does get me about this is the sound. relaxing and um, I play this pretty much every day and it's just my relaxed time so I can uh, listen to good sounds and as you can hear it has great sounds a lot of it's used in yoga a lot um, I've seen people playing on the beach I've been just actually I've seen people sing songs with this which is pretty awesome so uh, Luna Handpan from Dave's Island Instrument. Um, if you're looking for a new instrument to play, this is this is a great one to look at and check out. So, Handpan, awesome. The next thing I want to share with you, and um, I just want to apologize to Pepe Romero because this review has been a long time coming, and I owe owed him one because earlier this year he uh, he uh, gave me this board uh, to do a, a review on. And I actually did, I just haven't had time to put the video together, so you're going to see that today. And uh, basically what this is, is the ute board made by Pepe Romero and Daniel Ho. Uh, what happened was, uh, Pepe Romero, he, he likes to skateboard, uh, I believe uh, uh, Daniel does too. And uh, they put two and two together because they do a lot of gigs and they wanted something that they can get quick transport, maybe from the airport to the taxi, or you know, whatever. Um, and they wanted a board that they can travel with. And as you can see, uh, this board is very small. Um, the thing I love about this, being a skateboarder, is the wheelbase. Normally on smaller boards that you see out there, the uh, smaller cruisers that you have, um, since the board is smaller, they have to shrink the wheelbase. And in skateboarding, your wheelbase determines your balance that you have on the board and the board feel. Uh, what Pepe Romero has done is he's kept the wheelbase the same as a regular board, and, but only cut off the tail and the nose, which you really don't need for cruising. So what it makes this board feel like, it feels like a bigger board. Let me show you. Here's my board that I skateboard with, and if you, you can see, the wheelbase is pretty much the same. So this board will feel like you're riding this board without the tail and the nose, which is very good for cruising because you want to have a comfortable board and it doesn't feel like you're going to fall off of it. And this one is very solid. And earlier this year, which you'll see in, uh, after this video, I have shots of me cruising down Long Beach. I took it from here all the way down to the uh, uh, Queen Mary area, which is about a mile or almost two, two or three miles down the beach. And I rode this all the way there and back, so I approximately rode like six miles on this board, straight, just cruising Long Beach, and you'll see that in a few. And I had a great time, worked out well, no problems, wheels run great, uh, the trucks are amazing. Usually you'll have like cheap trucks on this, but these are made by Gullwing, which are really, it's a good company that makes uh, uh, trucks. The board is solid wood and um, it's not plastic and I love it. It's like a real skateboard. So I use it to cruise down to the store to get groceries, uh, cruise down to the local bar, haha, get some drinks, whatever. But you can use it for pretty much anything. It fits on your backpack, in your backpack if you're traveling. Um, I haven't taken it uh, through security on the plane, so I'm not sure how that works. Uh, maybe you can ask Daniel Ho or Pepe Romero because I believe they have done that. Um, but you'll find out where to get these. These are limited run, so I don't know if uh, he's going to be Pepe is going to be making any more of these. But I know he still has a few, so check them out um, if you can get one. It would be awesome. Great cruiser. That's all I have for you today. Uh, we went over the TK70R. Doo -doo. Awesome ukulele, it's been six months, great thing. Uh, we also went over the bongolele. 
cool, cool thing to uh, hammer on and jam with. Uh, the ukulele, or Hana ukulele, a double gig bag. This is the tenor size, awesome. Uh, hand pan, Woo. amazing instrument. Um, I am continuing to learn and get better at it, which is, is amazing. And then also the, the oop board by Pepe Romero, Daniel Ho, good stuff. Until next time. Ha, 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 ha.